Okay, all right, yeah. All right, just a few days to go for the event, but I still got the challenges to complete. Well, okay, what's that? Go to quest. Paper Shadow Ruminations on the bustling street of Harbor, you find more drones, a painter, a painter making paper cutouts. Despite your familiar silhouettes among the items she's preparing. Okay, that was the first one on the list, so. Fluffy, soft and bouncy, jump and bump. Oh my guests, welcome, welcome. Allow me, Wenshin, to be the first to wish the two of you a joyous lantern ride. No, many people did already. Happy lantern ride, Miss Wenshin. You seem to be reciting something just now. Uh, what were you talking to yourself about? Considering some delectable dessert, or perhaps a revolutionary recipe? Enough are off the mark, uh, nearly a holy one. I was just thinking about the full Guoba a Yuigui are gonna make. Uh, now, those are names we know. You know Guoba Yuigui too? Yuigui. Uh, how could I not? You're looking at one of the Wami's restaurants regulars, you know? As long as I'm not on the road, I eat at least seven meals a week at one meal restaurant. We pair with my hometown style cooking, first some lightly seasoned fare, then a spicy flavor bowl. It's just a smash hit. If I end up with too much heatness, just need to down some of the right meds and flush it right out. And then after a couple of days recuperating, it's back to gorging myself in Chowtown. That sounds amazing, best take it easy. I hope I'm also trying to live like that. Anyway, I get to see Guoba and Shanlin pretty much every week, and sometimes even little Yao Yao. When Yao Yao brings Yuegui along to see Shanlin, Guoba and Yuegui end up playing together. Uh, it's wonderful, no matter how exhausting work is, just watching them shake and sway is enough to sweep all of their cares away. But it can't be the only one being cured by Global and Yuigui. I want everyone to bear witness to their cuteness and for themselves. Well said. Now, this is something important, but just how do you plan to do that? Unless the things on the table are. Bingo! I just made a paper theater featuring Goba and Yugui as the stars. Everything you see here at this stall is a prop for the paper theater. Paper theater, the name sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? Is it about the canvas behind you and watching the shadows on it? You guys may have heard of paper plays, a traditional Liu art form. By artfully using the pictures and light, you can make the scenes on the screen come to life. I have a lot of papers, paper plays since I was a kid. I learned a bit about them from Master Ingong. E Ingong. After I grew up, I became a painter, studying and traveling all over. While I was in Fontaine, I learned a few new drawing techniques and a thing or two about filming. I had quite a, sp a spark of inspiration too. So, using paper plays as bases, I tried creating a novel interactive game, and thus the paper theater you see before you was born. Paper theaters and paper plays also have very different styles. Paper theater focuses on simple short stories that will bring a smile to the audience. So that's why this year's first paper theater will be all about a especially amiable story. Goma and Yuegui go looking for ingredients to cook up something delicious together. Goba and Yuigui 
looking together. That sounds really interesting. Full funny food in one place. And that's worth paying attention to. It looks like you two are totally on board. Your excitement is inspiring. Then there's no time to lose. Please just relax. And get ready to enjoy this paper theater performance. Oh, okay. So it's not really that. Uh, press the relevant buttons or use your movement keys to consume movement points in Gai Goben Yuigui. Hold the button to move continuously, challenge will be deemed successful as all cards reach the ingredients positions. Each move of the starting point card or boxes within the stage will be recorded. Use the recall function to restart the stage layout to its previous recorded stage. Can be used three times consecutively. Okay, welcome customer, we enjoy another paper chair performance. About the dish to be made at the end. Oh, so you, did you notice? Chewing chilies were indeed not among the ingredients that they gathered in this paper theater production. Okay, I should have played before. Asking. That's because the dish they're making is a treasure duck. A real classic that and not at all spicy. My family is used to food with lighter seasoning. Maybe something a bit saltier if you're feeling adventurous. But no fans of the spice. But I don't think a person should just stick with the foods they like as a child. Everyone should gradually expand their culinary horizons, find their own tastes, and learn to appreciate all kinds of deliciousness. It's a big, big world out there, filled with so many mouth-watering meals. It's good to switch things up, even if for no good reason. Going with something blender first, then something spicier. Can you really spike your taste bud sensitivity? So, even as I promote the cuteness of Go by Yuegui, I'm also recommending this A Treasure Duck. Now, have you know that, that it goes well with all kinds of dishes? Well, learn that at the age. I don't remember the name. Please enjoy. Fragrant Mountain Delicacies. A treasure flavors. Oh, but there are many more. Wow, that's plenty. Uh, the aroma of a valuable fungus like Masutake permeates the blends perfectly with, all flavor, with the flavors of all manner of ingredients, causing the resultant dish to radiate flavor. Gob is very sensitive to scent of Masutake. Unfortunately, his small hands are ill suited to the task of gathering said shrooms. Okay, you show me right now. Just I have a limit. Okay, next stage. That's not the next one ready, is it? When Guobi or we will leave the starting point card. The area they pass through will be marked. Marked areas will be deemed inaccessible. Ah. Uh, returning along the marked path will restart moves consumed. Touch the key to release the corresponding lock. If you cannot reach the key, try pushing boxes some other methods. Ah, not enough moves. I want to try it. Okay, just checking that. Alright, so... What does that do? Oh, no. Ah, okay, so now we'll start that there. Alright. Oh no, I don't have to, yeah. I can just grab that by pushing that. Mm. 
Press the portrait, which is the number key, switch character you are controlling. Since you are going to go for presence, you must guide them both to the ingredient position for the challenge to be a success. Okay, so just that doesn't work because Yugi won't be able to. Ah, he can pass. Oh, so they can walk on. Can push two, right? Okay. So Oh, I didn't see that one. Uh damage. Uh I didn't notice that one there. I don't know, recall, uh, uh, maybe I didn't have to, I don't know, maybe I didn't have to, I didn't really pay that much attention now. Starting card point card, the card can be pushed by another character. You can reach some special locations this way. Could I have tried that before? before it had to be before oh no record it started it started here I thought I oh okay I thought I could push wall but there Yugo has more pushes here
no. One more. Can they push the cart? No. Oh. Oh no, in Google wouldn't be able to. Oh, I didn't really notice the key there as well. It's a weird puzzle. Oh, okay, now we complete the first one. That was all. I thought maybe that was the first one. Okay. time they spend creating new gameplays for every single event and they're all just so short they have to come up with a new deeper mechanic from the ones they used before and it there is just a little bit of gameplay and we may never see that again Just for show days during the Lantern Ride Festival, you find more right to come in and another frame practicing the Wushu dance together. He has prepared an endlessly fascinating event and is waiting for guests to come and experience it. Where do you want to go next? If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots, I have a few references. Yo, happy lantern, right? My dude didn't do that. Say, you two wouldn't happen to be the big shots who came looking for Gami, would you? We saw you before. You were hanging out with Gami, right? Totally. How did you see? You remember me. My luck's on fire. I heard you two are the best of the best. And there ain't nothing you can do. I pop on over to Chihu Rock to buy groceries every day, and you thought it's so close by, as you always hear people sing your praises along the way. That's right, we're the cream of the crop. Vamos the best at eating, and now she can swallow. Uh, hey, Pamos good at stuff besides eating too. I didn't go with that answer. Wait, let Paimon think for a moment. What else is she good at? I got it. Can ordinary people float? You're so white and light and fluffy, like a pigeon with daftos. Flying alone is amazing. I mean, it should be super easy to carry stuff. It makes work a cinch. You should help her frame more. Guys, you got another. You're the pigeon with daftos, Paimo. Uh, here comes another strange nickname for Paimo. Let's just ignore whether it's even possible for a pigeon to turn into adaptus for now. Well, don't cranes and fish do? What's good in a pigeon also? Someone just wants to point out that she's always been helping us. For example, if he falls from a really high place, Pamon will grab onto him and make sure the fall isn't too painful. No, I always die from high heights. Uh, even though Paimon's not strong enough to actually do much lifting, Paimon was really was a pigeon and after she gave him a boost while, she, while he's using the wing glider helping him fly higher and further that could be helpful flying faster would be helpful uh, you gotta you two gotta practice more just like when you practice will show with Gami 
The more you practice, the better you work together. Rapport ain't easy to build. It just so happens I've created a fresh new game hot off the press. It's called Just Wushu Days. Wanna give it a go? Not only can you work on your teamwork, you can learn all about Wushu Days. Just Wushu Days. You wouldn't happen to be talking about the big old doll next to you, right? Bingo! I think Wushu Days is downright devilish to learn. Even if you've got a pro showing you the ropes, you won't be able to stick with it unless you love it and you have got a perseverance to match. So I changed the rules for one style of Wushu Days, switched out some props, and boom, this game was born. And it's also lantern right now, yeah? Perfect for helping everyone enjoy themselves and work up an appetite or work off the extra calories. Just put on your dancing shoes, well, the dancing outfit, and see who can grab the most tea bricks. You can dance and bump all over the shop, it's a hoot and a half. It sure sounds fun, but Pamela doesn't think she's strong enough to wear such a big outfit and play with other people. The end is really good at games like this, Pamela will watch and learn from the sunlight first. Bring it, I'm the Dancing King, T Rift. Those tea cakes will be a piece of cake. And the pitch adapters will not personally participate. A pity. Uh, it's not a problem. If the Pima will be traveling together for a long time to come, we have plenty of change to level up our teamwork. Also, who's to say Pima won't learn a bunch about working with you just for watching? Uh, you two are so close, I'm starting to get a bit jelly. Then, please, right this way. Let the dude of legendary deeds step right up into just for show days. Pigeon Adeptus, you just sit back and enjoy the show. Dude of legendary deeds, a nice title. Uh, in joyful beasts in their auspices, you must complete stage objectives within time limits to score the highest amount of points possible. Press use a skill and don't special wish of this puppet custom. To enter bumper wushu mode and knock aside other participants that you come in contact with. So, this is a multiplayer one. When two parties in bumper wushu modes come in contact with each other, both parties will have their bumper wushu modes deactivate. Joy from Bizarre has sort of three stages for players to choose from. Different stage game modes and rules can be reviewed under gameplay details. Joyful Bison has two gameplay modes. You can invite multiple teammates to play together or match with other players. Four participants are required to start Joyful Beasts. Okay. The Legendary Deeds, you are positively glowing. Looks like you are ready to go. Ready for a round of Just for Show Days. About the props and venue for Just for Show Days. Not bad, huh? All the mods were made by yours truly. I added several kinds of special talcum powder to the dance suit and it get it all gets mixed together when you pull the rope. The mixture releases a bunch of gas which helps the outfit suddenly stiffen. Solid as rock and proud as a lion. So no matter how much you jump and dance or bump and prance, you won't get hurt none. Fun and safety, all in one. The technique's been used on ships for a long time now, you know? Sailors use it to protect cargo. No matter how the waves toss around the boxes, the stuff side won't get smashed or two smithereens. Anyway, as for the venue, I rented it from the shop, a big old empty basement that, like that, just seeing there unused and wasted. Well, it should be put to good use now. The buzz of the shop is pretty dope too. Me promoting the Wushu Dance game helps bring in big business, so he didn't ask for much rent. Depending on how things go, maybe I'll even be able to get coming over to put on a real show here. Yeah, I didn't end up getting coming. Yeah, I'll have these days. Rock on, have fun. Mm. Random play. Uh, Good things go rolling. Collect as many lucky tip bricks as possible to score points. Use your bumper bush shot to knock out a precipice away. You can also obtain tip bricks that they drop. 
Okay, kind of like Balloon Fight from Mario Kart. Race to the top, stay on the platform for as long as possible, collect 14 T-Bricks to score higher. Same time, be careful to avoid obstacles if on the field and other players bumper you will show. Uh, to pluck good fortune. Stay on the safe zone for as long as possible and avoid the super spicy walk. Hey, to maintain your mildness and collect prosper team breaks. Uh, uh, gameplay details. No, I think I got it. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. To know. Uh, knock at least five other participants back. I'm basically just get her, try to get her as much as possible and bump into everybody. Just complete for the first time and I already get this stuff. Okay, I just avoided that. I accept. Well, prepare. Okay, I can be only. To fear. Who, who bombed it to me? I think he lagged. Well, apparently I don't have to win. I just have to... ...to play a bit. And I should get everything. I'm getting bumped when I don't see anybody around. Come on, I'm not having such a bad connection now. Yeah, I should actually try playing some multiplayer games to see how real time I can get. Don't really care. Okay, not bad. First place the most. Highest number of the bricks, time is knocked. Okay. Yeah, I mean... The, um, the stream didn't lose any frames during that. Hmm. Maybe it's not the connection, it's my PC. Okay, that was okay. Uh, hang on. Did I? That was from the other one. Total score from everything together. Oh, okay. So let's go to the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. The same thing. Kinda. Hmm. 
Here, race to the top. Okay. Stand platform as long as possible. Where are the fortune bricks on wine the platform? Is the same. Otherwise, is it better to get those or stay on the platform? Nothing to fear. Careless. Nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. Oh, grab that. Uh, time is not back. Time is not back. Okay, it doesn't really. Okay, I got more points here than before. I didn't pay attention to how many points each one had, but I thought I was worse. How many points total? Six or those more? Uh, I could check the screen here. It wouldn't be bad. Oh. Uh, I'm constantly losing, I have to try to keep a high score. We both bumped. Ah, okay, but I have to be protected when that happens. Careless.
Oh, I avoid it. to fear. Almost there. Oh, I won't. I think the highest mild is on this. Okay, I think I prefer this one. Six thousand. Okay, three fifth. Okay, yeah, let's go. No, I can't play that. This one's okay. Yeah, that's a huge warehouse. Everybody got everything. <laughs> oh, I'm way ahead. Well, they aren't even at three hundred. Come on, I'm not that good. They didn't even get that knockback. How does Mantis have so, wine so taste the points? same as I remember? They weren't hitting each other. But where are those who shit? So, 
I didn't really pay attention how many points I got. Okay, one more. Did I avoid it? That's okay, I don't really have to win. I don't even need a thousand points. No, just give me my prizes. There. No, the last one. There's didn't get everything. There's show exclamation mark there. Releasing class trading. Uh, I'm not in co-op. Game forced me to go back there.
かなうん Sim guess I the apron he start teller Juan Shu must humbly request you cease your steps for a moment. Perhaps you have heard the tale that goes on like this. In a beautiful night of lantern light, flaming lights once dance across the sky like glowing brushes, like a majestic scroll. I wonder if I catch that. Flaming lights painting in the sky. That's not something ordinary people can do. If you had some kind of airship, there's no kind of mysterious paint that can just hang in the air like that. Come on. I have never walked around the bus. Sounds like a seriously exaggerated analogy. Surely not an ordinary painting. Could you be talking about fireworks? Anyway, the protagonists of this tale are none other than you two. The renowned Inus and whose fame has spread throughout the land, and his companion Paimon. Uh, why is it, it suddenly about us? Perhaps you have already forgotten, but this time last year you accepted a commission from the adventurers, from the adventurer Tian Tian, to part in participating in a special speedrun challenge. What if I had missed that event? That speedrun challenge was illuminated by the glow of fireworks, a sign most majestic and splendor seen, not often seen. Now that you mention it, Paimon kind of remembers that we helped some promoter from the Adventurers Guild. It was nothing really. She said she wanted to use the event to record new members. No idea if it actually worked though. I guess something like that might have happened. So what's your point? At the time, I was drowning my sorrows in liquor near the Wanshan Inn, and as I looked up, I saw your silhouettes framed by the fireworks. That sounds dangerous, we were flying near the fireworks, I don't remember. And in a moment, the sadness from, my flunking, from flunking the exam, my confusion about the path that lay before me, uh, it was all dispelled in a flash by your radiant figures blazing bright in with vitality. So I pulled myself together and continued my research into folk tales and thus came to Chen Yu Veil, drinking deep from my favorite subject. I must thank you for the encouragement you gave me. And it is not just me, many were moved by your splendid silhouettes, joining the Adventurers Guild and finding new directions in life. But I would never imagine anything like that. Uh, we didn't even notice anyone watching at the time, and didn't even think us joining in a little race could inspire other people. When you put it like that, it's kind of embarrassing. It's good to see their spirits have improved. Congratulations on getting it together. Uh, to run into you today is truly my good fortune. There is one thing I would like to ask in addition to expressing my sincere gratitude. Please, pass your red and glory onwards, and continue to inspire even more people. Though so we aren't nearly as great as you say, you got a good idea going. If you can cheer up more people, we are in. So now that you mention it, just what should we do? In accordance with usual practices, I used Tian Tian's racing challenge as a reference and team up with other adventurers inspired by you. We've planned a brand new activity, the really same class. The recent cloud striding. There are many wondrous things here in Chenyu Vale, including a strange carp whose power allows you to travel most swiftly. All you need to do is roll over valleys and mount the mountain tops with your nimbleness, showing your vibrant dynamism to all a sundry, just as before. Easy peasy, rain. Of course, beyond the more I have prepared is a token of appreciation, we prepare a variety of other rewards to express our gratitude. Such paltry gestures pale with the hope you have given to so many and the excitement your past deeds inspire. But that is not all, in the future we will find more chances to repay you. Uh, you're too kind, we'll keep your own journeying and helping out those in need all along the way. 
even without any rewards. But after healing you, we've, we are even more inspired to keep on adventuring. Let's give these iridescent clouds trying a try. Go to challenge. Ah, so those are scattered. Oh, okay. So let me talk to you before. Oh, honorable traveler Ignus, is there anything I can do for you about the location of the recent class training? Yes, a lot of thought was put into the matter. The adventure is inspired by you, and I chose uh, a, a suitable location after exhaustive research. Those with heavy hearts often wander in the tranquil wilderness, far removed from the hustle and bustle. So the location for Iridescent Cloud Striding is neither too far nor too close to Willow Earth and Chowing Village, so that your readings may reach as many who need encouragement as possible. And the other? Tell me about yourself. About me, my own experiences are really quite ordinary. I'm just a researcher of folk tales with no special abilities. When my research was at a standstill, I thought about changing my profession, change professions. So I registered for the Ministry of Civil Affairs exams, but I ended up flunking. However, after being inspired by you, I clenched my teeth, overcoming the difficulties posed by both the lack of funds and my own cognitive limitations, and found that there really wasn't any need for me to change my vocation in the first place. After I came to Elon R, I discovered that were countless research topics, so I've been studying all kinds of folk tales while I work as a storyteller's apprentice. Every single day so fulfilling. And it is all because of you once again. Thank you so much. Alright, so let's go there to the first one. Can I just report there? No. Uh, okay, maybe I'll get the remaining teleports now. Better get the teleport first. and cloud striding challenges you must reach your destination while collecting as many jade lotus lanterns on the way to obtain a high score as high as possible all those lanterns will be pre will be present during the challenge you will have points deducted if you pick them up after you come in contact with firework lanterns they will explode and you will trigger the pickup effects of objects within the explosion radius there will be Cutting planes to be picked up near the golden carp sleep pearls. Those this can help you complete the coming challenges. After picking up cutting plane cash advance up, Jade Lotus Lanterns will appear before you for a limited time. This will help you obtain a higher score. Press for a while for the perfect time.
I like those. stage hmm good teleport better picking a cunning plane crisis adaptation up ominous lanterns before you will regularly turn into tranquil lanterns. Take this opportunity to score more points. Did I hit those? I missed. Oh, this was structure. Yeah, I don't need to go perfect. Got everything I need. I could get already, so the porch. <laughs> They're picking up a cunning playing paratechnical amusement. Special moving fireworks lanterns will appear before you, and during the next golden carp leap. We'll score double points. First one is longer than the others.
Oh. Uh, okay, that thought was elsewhere. Osmanthus wine tastes parenting. the same as I remember. Just... Is that part of a quest? I will have order. That looks like a quest. And there's one of those just in the wild. There's one of those just hanging here. I think I'll just get a, a chest, but I don't remember seeing one of those that was in a quest. Me. Couldn't even change characters there. Have finally arrived. Okay, yeah, you ask kind of a quest. There's <laughs> another test subject. Stabilize. Here come the fireworks. The field is lit. Three. I will have order. Grant us your blessing. Getting gear. Fire hazard. The wrong test subject. The wrong test. Subject. Ooh, okay, in the end, firework materials in here? I was the one that stole the goods now. I don't know why, but this feels wronger than when I just go into their hideouts and take stuff for me. Yeah. It was just a different chest. Okay, let's continue. Oh, damn it. There. Oh, I can just return when I miss? Okay. 
Oh, too slow. here then now that's what do I get here I didn't even check that I didn't know I could get a free gummy all right have 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 yeah I can get that as well he didn't even show up gummy even mentioned that he knows him I, he didn't show up Oh, those look cool. Ah, that's pretty cool. Play mouse feet. The hero's valor ripples through his robes. His garments steeped in the spirit of the bamboo groves. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Hey, so boss. Didn't miss the it. name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So, all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, and if you ever want to book a wushu dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troop's called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. Wow, he said a lot. Uh, he never mentioned this dog with him. That shows up during his attacks and stuff. I think show up when he was Wushu dancing. And he never mentioned it. Shouldn't it be like his pet or something. And alright. Good. Aren't those all unlocked already? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this for another day. There's still five days to go. I do may do this tomorrow or after tomorrow. Osmanthus wine taste. Uh, uh, uh. Whoa. Hey, what's that from? Oh, there's a dog. Purple, uh, improper arrow. Oh yeah, I don't think I needed that for anybody yet. Okay, and what weapon do I have then? Oh, I have a weapon that suits him. Yeah. Looks nice on him. Um, what else could I give to him? I don't know why, but that kind of makes sense. Uh, that kind of makes sense. I don't know if this would be good for him. I honestly have no idea. Uh, the ones upgraded. Oh, this one isn't equipped with anybody. Near this one. Okay. Did I leave that with somebody? Uh, I think I changed with uh, Preminence. Okay. I think I used that with Dea for a while. So let's give Dea that one and leave it this to him for now. Uh, I'll have to check some builds afterwards. And it'll take a while for me to use him. I still gotta use those two after uh, Premitech gets to 10. And then 
Candace. I think I saw a death. I don't know, it's not bad, but I... I like the original one better. It's still seem better. I don't know, this is too fancy. He doesn't... Likes to show off. Yeah. As I remember. So, all right, let's see. But where are those who share? That. Memory. Okay, now here is just those things I got, right? Oh, I got one of those as well. Okay. Huh? It isn't that much different. Okay, so that. Mm, 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 mm. I think I want to show more than a. Yeah, Miko. I don't remember. Did I get a Yao Yao? I don't think so. Yeah. No, no, maybe I do. Yeah, yeah. I don't actually know what's the logic between behind this order here. Okay, I do have one. She probably has the yeah, Sumeru thing because it suits her. Very well. Oh no, hang on. I got some. Let's try. Check those two I got for free. Yeah. Alright. Boats are made for transferring so, commodities back I'm and off. forth. And those that come across Lior tend to stay a while. 